Hello, my name is Bishop Richard Pates. I am currently serving as the Apostolic Administrator of the Diocese of Crookston until the arrival of the new bishop in the coming months. I am here today to invite you to participate in this campaign. We are engaging in a campaign of $15 million. It is the purchase of uh, 37 acres of property and 60,000 square feet of building purchased from the Sisters of St. Benedict. It's a very exciting moment for the Diocese of Crookston, enabling a whole new day for the diocese and a bright future with the new bishop. Right now, our chancery is inadequate, really, to serve the many ministries and offices that we have, and it's not very accessible, particularly to the handicapped. As the future pastoral center for the Diocese of Crookston, this will also be a retreat center where the diocese will come together in prayer and discernment about how God is calling us to be his missionary disciples. Curcios, tech for our youth, deacon formation, of course, pre-marriage formation, marriage retreats and family retreats that we want to start offering through the diocese parish confirmation retreats. There are many ideas that we have that we're already hosting across the diocese, but now we'll bring them together in this beautiful center for prayer. We have had no place to gather as a, a diocesan church, as youth gathering for, for youth retreats or for the priests. We've had to go to secular places to have our retreats. As rector of the cathedral, I realized that this is the mother church of the diocese and we host all sorts of events here. What a blessing to have the priest be able to be here on campus, so close to that mother church of the Immaculate Conception. We have been looking for how we could sell the property, still remain here as part of what goes on in this property, and have the rest of it put to a very good use. We're especially thrilled that it's the diocese who has come forward because we know they have the same mission that we have. I don't think our community could have um, a better partner in sharing this space than the Diocese of Crookston. We've uh, hosted many things here at the moment. Uh, we like the activity, we like the involvement, we like the outreach that it has been for us. I remember the Marian Hall days with texts and groups that were here um, bringing young people back. My eyes and heart were opened up to the work of the diocesan church through tech, which took place at Mount St. Benedict. It was there among the impactful and hospitable qualities of the sisters that elevated my personal relationship with Jesus Christ for the very first time. And since that time, I have always appreciated being part of a church larger than my own parish. After two decades, my life's journey has led me into diocesan leadership. I'm excited to be able to carry on our shared mission with the Sisters of Evangelization and Discipleship. There's a lot of history here and the history can keep on continuing forever. Bishop Pates asked me to serve as the honorary chairman for this new capital campaign called The Perfect Fit. And my duty is simple, to encourage you to take part in this project. And you can do that in several ways. One way, of course, is through prayer. We just don't understand the mystery of prayer but we know that God in his goodness will listen to us, respond to us, because he is a good and gracious God. And there's another way you can participate, which sometimes we don't think of, and I think that's through our sufferings. We all, we all have sufferings, and we can offer them to God for several purposes. For example, and mainly, I think, for the atonement of sins, our sins and the sins of the world. I'm asking you to offer your sufferings, at least in part, for the success of this capital campaign and the success of the project. Another way in which you can help, of course, is through financial participation. 
We need your help, each and every one of you in every parish and every mission to take part in this. It's for the glory of God. It's for the good of the church. It's for the good of God's people. God is never outdone in generosity. Never, ever. Remember, too, what Jesus said. Give, and it will be given to you. Pressed down and flowing over. Trust in those words. And let me close with my blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.